Didactics Online. I'm Tara Nawaktar and this is Brandon Parker. We're going to do a quick video on uh, atypical cervical diagnosis and treatment. So I'm going to start with um, the AA, the atlas on the axis, okay? So that joint is strictly rotatory motion. There's no um, side bending in that joint. So for diagnosis, you just have to flex all the way up and rotate to either side, okay? The flexion is to lock out all the other motion of all the other joints, okay? Um, for the OA, which is the occiput on the atlas, it's a little bit different. You're tr kind of looking for transitory motion in both in neutral flexion and extension. So I'll go ahead and show you guys. Okay, for the AA, to diagnose, we're going to bring Brandon's neck all the way up into flexion, as far as we can go. And I'm going to rotate him all the way to the left, and then all the way to the right. He has freer motion to the right, so I'm going to name him a right AA, okay? A right rotated AA. For treatment of that, you can use HBLA or muscle energy, but I'm going to use muscle energy. So I'm going to bring his, flex his neck all the way up, Bring him to the left and have him rotate his neck to the right against my hand. Okay, relax. Hold that three to five seconds. Take him to the barrier and have him push again. Hold him three to five seconds. Relax and push him into the barrier one more time and push into my hand. Three to five seconds and relax and then bring him to the barrier. And then bring him down and recheck. Okay, so my recheck would be to rotate him to the left, rotate him to the right, and now it's pretty even. Okay. So for the OA, it's a little bit different. I'm going to contact the base of the occiput with my fingers, and I'm going to see if I can translate his head to the right and to the left. If you can see, his translation is better to the right than it is to the left. So I'm going to call it side bent left. So when the OA is side bent left, it's always rotated right, because it's always opposite for OA. Opposite always. Okay. So if it's side bent left, rotated right, then I'm going to check if it's in neutral, flexion, or extension. To check it in flexion, I would just tuck in his chin a little bit and do the same thing. It doesn't get any better. For extension, I'm just going to bring his head back just a little bit and check again. And it doesn't get much better either. So I'm going to call it a neutral um, OA, okay? Neutral, side bent left, rotated right. So. Um, I can either treat this with muscle energy or with HBLA. So first I'm going to treat with muscle energy. I'm going to treat the opposite of his diagnosis though, so I can also show you guys an HBLA. So if he were side bent right and rotated left, I would side bend him left, rotate him right, and keep him in neutral, and have him straighten out his head against my fingers. Straighten out your neck. And relax. And then I would bring him into the barrier one more time and straighten out your head, and relax. And for OA, you don't have to put much force. And one more time, and relax, good. It's a very little motion at that joint, so you don't need to use too much force with that. You can even just use eye motion. So if you want your patient to turn their head to the, or turn their head to the right, just say, look to the right with your eyes. Okay, so for HBLA, since he's side bent left, rotated right, I want to do the opposite of that. HBLA is a direct technique. So I'm going to contact his occiput, uh, the base of his occiput with my knuckle, translate him to the left and get a right side bend going, bring his head into a left rotation, and then give him a quick thrust. And then I would recheck. So I'm going to recheck. It feels like it's moving a little bit better. And that's it. Thanks for watching our video and hope to see you again on Didactics Online. Feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comments box. Thank you.